Font management is done directly within the builder whenever you work with a text element. I'll select this heading that I've created with the text element and go all the way to the left for the T for topography. You access it here by add new font. The splash screen that appears gives you the opportunity to add new fonts, but let's look quickly at the fonts tab. This is where your current fonts appear that is selectable within your topography. Lato is currently selected, which is the default fullback font. You can change this by easily clicking on any of the other fonts and making that the default. With so many fonts here, you hardly will use them. So it's a good idea to clean up those that you think you will never use. I'll go here to Abril Fat Face and you can go to the top right corner of each font and just remove them by clicking on the trash can. This way you free up a little bit of real estate space here within your topography. To bring in a new font, you have the option between Google Fonts as well as custom fonts that you can upload. Google Fonts are free, and as long as you know the name of the Google Font, you can find it easily here. I'll go ahead and look for Railway, then I'll select it, click on Continue, and that's it. Click Done, and now when I select any element again, you will see that that imported font, Railway, will appear here at the top. I can change up. Let's go back to the font manager and look at what happens under upload. Give your font a name. Click continue. And then depending on what file you are using, you upload it from here. Also select the font weight, which is standard settings, and then add the font. Once you have added them, they'll also appear here within your typography settings.